I've always wanted to make a game. But the thing is, I don't have any coding knowledge. Maybe just a tiny smidge of HTML and CSS, but beyond that, I know basically nothing. I definitely want to learn how to code, but it would take me a good while until I could put something substantial together. That's why I decided to opt for a game prototype. Something that I always loved about games is that it combines so many different mediums to create something greater. For this project and prototype, I mainly wanted to have fun and experiment. I didn't want there to be a lot of pressure, and I really wanted to be spontaneous. I also wanted to surprise myself and see what I end up creating. For this project, I will be working on the concept, art, design, music, and prototyping. Just a quick disclaimer, I wouldn't really consider myself particularly strong in any one of these areas. For me, I personally feel more like a generalist than a specialist. But like I said before, what really excites me is how everything comes together. So I felt confident using my curtain skills to create something even greater than the sum of its parts. I'll now go into my process for each one of these areas. I was researching virtual goods recently and that led me to doodling random items. I thought to myself, what if it's like a collector game where you can collect different random items? It would be casual where you can start the game up once or twice a day, collect your goods, customize your collection, chat with in-game characters, and small stuff like that. These are some of the early sketches I made to loosely illustrate this concept. Once I got the idea down, I then had to figure out what context this was going to live in. In games that I've played as a kid, like Neopets or Webkins, you could win items or money by chance events like spinning a wheel or just checking in for items at any given time. I landed on the idea of looting something and that got my brain going. It could be a very casual, imperfect game which for me was ideal since I wasn't planning on having any refined art, music, dialogue, etc. All in all, I wanted to create something that was a little rough around the edges. For the art style and approach, I wanted to keep the pressure low and keep things fun and light. I decided to lean into a sketchy style, one that allowed imperfection. The imperfect style leaned into the concept that I was going for. I drew different random items, sketches of what in-game characters could potentially look like, phone icons, and other different miscellaneous assets for different parts of the game. As I mentioned before, I am not the most confident in this area. Using the basics I learned on music production, I just played around on FL Studio. I tested different instruments and played around with the length of the notes and focused more on the narrative and vibes that I wanted to convey. Given that the style of the overall game is a bit scrappy from the concept to the art, it would make sense that the music would fit this vibe as well. Since I can't show you the original file since I'm still using the trial version for FL Studio and I can't open my previous save files, I figured I might as well show you my process on how I made my music.
I wanted to keep the design pretty simple and did not want to overthink it. I looked at different color palettes, trying to find something that would evoke nostalgia, but also something that wouldn't overwhelm the player. This is the color palette that I ended up going with. For the font, I use a pixelated one to stay on brand with the retro nostalgic vibe. I also use the monotype for the body copy. The user interface is pretty straightforward. I wanted to keep it simple, especially since this is meant to be a casual, chill, and low-key game. This was something I wanted to learn a little more about, which is why I decided to go with this approach. Creating a game in a quote-unquote non-gaming program like Adobe XD was exciting and unexpected. I dabbled in prototyping a little in the past, but for this project, I actually picked up some new skills such as auto animations and also sound integration. Now that I've finished explaining all of that, I will now show you the trailer and gameplay. I am honestly surprised by what I was able to create using the tools I already knew. I loved seeing my idea come to life. When testing my prototype, there were moments where it felt like I was playing an actual game. It was also fun seeing how art, music, storytelling can all come together even on a small scale such as this. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I would greatly appreciate it if you can leave a like and also share your thoughts in the comments below.